Okay, everyone. I found that Google Earth has this really great feature where you can uh, build a tour and and demonstrate where you're going. And so I put it together, but it's it's fairly new, so it doesn't work on cell phones and only works in certain browsers. So I figured I'd make a video of it too. So uh, welcome to our tour of East Africa, uh, starting in Chicago, and. Uh, Day two, or day one actually, we head to uh, the State Department for a briefing there, which should be pretty interesting. We enjoyed that part of the trip. You get to hang out with folks that we've met over the years and uh, get a, a briefing from the State Department about all the places we're going, which is always uh, fascinating to say the least. Uh, and then uh, from there, we fly to Brussels uh, and, uh, there we go, flying over the ocean to Brussels, and then our first stop is, is in Entebbe, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, I'm sure I'll learn very soon, but it's, uh, it's also, I believe, connected to Kampala, right on Lake Victoria in Uganda. We'll be doing four days there. Uh, and uh, I put some details in this, but not a ton because the schedules always change. Uh, generally, we stick to the flights, but you never know what's going to happen within the countries because things are just, uh, things always change. So uh, from there, we head to Rwanda and uh, we'll be playing bunch of workshops in Rwanda and bouncing around to some different cities. Rubavu, which is a cool name. It's a wonderful picture of some steps in Rubavu. And then uh, Kigali, back to Kigali, doing some radio and TV stuff. On to Butare, which I assume that's how you pronounce it, uh, to perform and, and collaborate and do workshops at a university there. Uh, back to Kigali, if you notice that picture to the left, uh, that's a pretty awesome picture. And uh, then we're on to Zambia. Uh, and, and I know this tour is, is touted as East Africa, but you'll see that the last country is actually significantly west of here. Um, to Copper Belt University, that's going to be, I believe, a four-hour drive, which should be interesting. Uh, they offered to fly us there, and it turns out that the plane would be too small to fit all of our equipment. So I'm personally relieved that we're not flying. Um, back to Lusaka uh, for some more stuff, and then up to Douala, uh, which is Cameroon. And you can see this is crossing the continent and heading over to... The coast, uh, I'm not sure if this is officially West Africa or Central Africa. Uh, you know, Ghana, which is not too far over this way, is definitely West Africa and Togo. And there's Nigeria. Actually, I'm just noticing we're not going to be too far from where we were last summer in Lagos and Abuja, which is exciting. Um, anyways, do some workshops in Douala. There is a possibility we're going to finish out this tour, uh, do a few days in Djibouti, uh, but that's not set yet, so we're not going to uh, put it on this. So anyways, uh, after that, oh yes, we're visiting some universities. We're supposed to have lunch or dinner on this beach with fresh fish, which sounds really amazing. Uh, on to Yaoundé, which I believe is the capital of Cameroon. Uh, and then back to Brussels to go home. Uh, and that'll be four to five weeks, depending on what happens at the end of the trip. So uh, I'm sure we'll be ready to get home and see our friends and family. Um, so anyways, here's a, a, this was a tour of our uh, impending trip to East Africa. I'm doing this on Friday, and we're leaving on Sunday the 3rd. Uh, and we're excited. So stay tuned. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram will be posting all sorts of crazy stuff and we're pretty pumped about it all.